recorded live at Gators and Woodbine at the Sports Etc. Show. Hey everybody, welcome to Sports Etc. and happy Stampede Week. Happy Stampede, guys. Stampede's one of my favorite times of the year. It's almost like Christmas for a hick like me. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun time of year. A lot of uh, different sports going on during Stampede. There sure are. There's a lot of rodeo events, as you know, and of course the world famous chuck wagons. Half we'll be mile of hell. <laughs> We're going to be talking about that a little bit later, uh, but we've got a really exciting show lined up for you as well. We're going to be talking about the stamps, and we're going to start off with Kawhi Leonard. Biggest just this news morning, of the weekend. Just this morning, he signed with the LA Clippers. Four-year deal and the hundreds of millions of dollars. It's ridiculous how much these guys or something. It's ridiculous how much these guys get paid. My question is, why the Clippers? He's from LA. But the Lakers are from LA. Yeah, but he doesn't want to play for, be a bit piece in the big team with LeBron and Davis. He wants to be the man in LA. And Could have been the man in Toronto too, though. I mean. Yeah, but he maybe for the first time ever he'll make the Clippers relevant. I mean, perhaps I don't know. It's it's all. It would almost be like Jerome McGinley coming out of retirement and signing with the Oilers. Well, yeah, I guess, but. <laughs> Just why, but you know what? Nonetheless, we certainly do wish Kawhi Leonard much success in LA. Not too much success, though. But uh, you know, we certainly wish him all the best, and and you know, we are thankful and grateful for what he did for the Raptors while he was a member of the team. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what's going to happen that first game back in Toronto. Are the fans going to boo him, or are they going to cheer him? What would you guys do? Personally, as a Raptor fan, I would salute the man for bringing helping bring a championship to the team. Once you've done saluting them, boom. Fair enough. You know, I, I would certainly give uh, give him his due, just like when Jerome McGinley came back after being traded. Uh, you know, people would cheer when he scored a goal against the Flames because it was Jerome McGinley. So I, I, I think most people are going to be appreciative, but, you know, there's always some bad apples, uh, especially, you know. Yeah, there's... Uh, there's going to be some people <laughs> upset, but hey, you can't blame a guy for going home, and we'll see what happens. And now what do the Raptors do? Do they rebuild, or can they bring in someone else to try to defend? I personally think it's rebuild time now. Uh, it very well could be. I guess we'll see what the, the GM does in the coming days. Uh, speaking of the coming days, Calgary Stampeders quarterback Bo Levi Mitchell suffered an injury during the last game. It was last week against uh, the BC Lions. Uh, we did pull out a win, of course. Arbuckle, the backup quarterback, came in and, and really took over and, and pushed us over the top for the comeback. But six-week injured list. What yeah, he's on the six-game injured. Uh, hopefully they can take him off if he gets healthy, and hopefully they'll be able to do that. I know he's gone for a second opinion for his pectoral down in L.A. Uh, with one of the world-class doctors down there. So hopefully... Hopefully it's not long term because we need right. Bo back on the field as Stampeders fans. I do have faith in Nick Arbuckle. He's uh, next man up. But we're going to have to see how it goes tonight. Well, we record on Saturdays here, guys, at Gators, as always. Saturday night, tonight, at 8 o'clock, the Stampeders are going to be playing those hated Rough Riders. So mm -hmm. even without Bo, we got to beat him. we got to beat him. Got, you always got to beat the Rough Riders. Even if you're 1-10 on the season, if you're playing the Rough Riders in the next game, you got to beat them. Yeah, got to beat the green if you're a Stamps fan. A any team in green is a bad team. Yeah, Ed Edmonton Eskimos, Green Bay Packers. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of a break here. When we come back, we're going to talk about Stampede sports and Stampede traditions. What are our likes? What are our dislikes? What are your thoughts on Stampede? So stick around right after this. Hey guys, summertime is here and with it, our favorite promotion of the year. Come to Gators the Lighthouse, Red Crowns, or the Stetson on any karaoke or name that Taz track night, and you can fill up your summer sweepstakes card for a chance to win a thousand dollars cash. Or you can win a trip for two to Cancun, courtesy of Des designated drivers. This only runs during the summer, and you can enter as many times as you want. For more information, check out yycparty.com. We'll see you there. Hey everybody, welcome back. Before the break, we were talking about Stampede traditions. Of course, Stampede is upon us. Yeah, it's that time of year. Sure is. Time of year where, you know, you can see someone completely hammered at seven in the morning and be like, wow, he's having a great Stampede. The other 355 days of the year, you're like, man, that guy's a drunk. Yeah, totally. And, uh, and I hear that often. So what's your, <laughs> what, what's your favorite part of Stampede, Chris? 
Well, as you can see, because I'm I, I'm so slender and fit, I love the free food. Fair enough. You there know, are a lot a, of free pancake breakfast. Pancake breakfast, time. Stampede barbecues. Yep. It's actually amazing when I talk to some of my American friends about Stampede, and I'm like, yeah, they do free pancake breakfast and barbecues. People line up, and it's a ton of free food, and they're like, so you mean it's like a shelter? Well, yeah, I guess so, but it's free. <laughs> so, And they're like, so these companies just pay for it. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, don't have market. to pay anything. It, it, it's a great... It's a Canadian thing. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't see that down in the States. I, I guess not. But uh, How you about know, you? I, I, I love the pancake breakfast, as you can tell. Uh, but uh, one of my favorite things is to go down to the grounds just to, you know, see all the lights and everything and just see everybody having a great time. Um, I, ha I am going on the rides, actually, this upcoming week. Nice. One of the days doing the ride all day pass, and uh, so that's going to be an interesting. You know, big 38-year-old guy like me riding those rides. I don't know. That, we'll, we'll, we'll see how many times I puke. <laughs> could be entertaining. It depends on how many of those Stampede brews I have, too. But. Well, that is another major tradition you have in Stampede is uh, everyone likes to drink. And, you know, what better time to do it than during Stampede? Because no one thinks any less of you for doing it, I guess. But don't overdo it. Be responsible, don't drink and drive, and don't uh, drink and spit roast either. Well, you know, when I drink a lot <laughs> and I get to the point that I'm unable to drive my own vehicle, I like to call Des designated drivers and mm -hmm. get them to drive my car home. That's a great idea, Chris. Of course, we don't want anybody to drink and drive. We want everybody to be safe this stampede and to come back and party with us again next year. So call Des designated drivers. The number is right at the bottom there for all your stampede, getting home safe needs. One of my other favorite traditions growing up in Calgary uh, was the chuck wagon races. Right. Every night as a family, we got together and we watched the races and we made like penny bets on each heat, who was going to win, and you had your favorite drivers. Um, it just, I don't know, it's nostalgic for me. I, I do miss good old Joe Carberry calling him because right. he had the amazing voice to call the Chucks. But, you know, I love... The Chucks, the rodeo, the whole nine. Stampede time is just a party. It, it, it sure is. You mentioned the rodeo, and uh, that, that is one of my favorite parts of the Stampede as well. Uh, you've got all kinds of, of events. You know, you've got steer wrestling. You've got the, the bull riding, of course. Uh, my favorite, of course, eight seconds bareback. Yeah, why am I not surprised? But stay <laughs> tuned, guys. Andrew and I are going to try to make a prediction here of who's going to be leading the aggregate in the Chucks, the top three wagons, Yeah, right gonna, after this. We're going to be making that pick. Hey, guys. As Tyler mentioned last week, I wasn't here because I was in the hospital. Ended up having to have a minor surgery, and part of one of my toes was amputated. That's why, you know, I've always said i got big feet, and they're platform, so now I'm platform nine and three quarters. I just want to say thank you to South Calgary Campus. They treated me well. Uh, but it did suck having to be stuck in the hospital for a week. But thank you for your support. And I just, thanks. That's all I can say. Take care, guys. Welcome back, guys. As we said earlier, Andrew and I were going to talk a little bit about the Chucks and who we think is going to take the aggregate. For those of you who don't know what I mean by the aggregate, that is the tallied time for all of the heats per driver. So they take their time every night and add them together and whoever has the best times with least amount of penalties, because that's what usually comes in and wipes the driver out, yep. they get the top eight will run, I do believe, for a chance to go for the dash for cash for that $100,000 prize. So Andrew, do you have any uh, drivers that you like a lot? Uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, for my top three, the ones that I picked was uh, for third, Ray Mitzwing. He's taken the championship before, the Rangeland Derby. Uh, and I, I think he has a, a decent chance of taking it again. Uh, speaking of chances, Chance Benzmiller, one of Buddy Benzmiller's sons, who is uh, racing chuck wagons now, uh, he should be right in the running for that as well. And who I think is really going to take it all, Jason Glass. Tommy Glass's boy, and he's become uh, an extraordinary chuck wagon driver in his own right. So those would be my top three. What about you? Um, well, I've got to go with, in third, I think you're going to get uh, Kirk Sutherland uh, from the Sutherland family. You know, Kelly Sutherland is the right. greatest of all time. And uh, the blood, just 
He, and he's also got some of Kelly's horses now, I do believe. Oh, wow. Second, once again, got to stick with the Sutherland. You know, I got a theme here. Mm -hmm. Mark Sutherland, uh, you know, uh, high tech redneck. He's going <laughs> to. Well, he just he runs well every year. And, you know, now that Kelly's not even running anymore because he's retired, hope you're enjoying your retirement now, Kelly. It's uh, well deserved. I think he's going to do well. And, but, of course, I got to go with you on the same number one. I'm a diehard Jason Glass fan. Um, he just, I love watching those checkerboards come across first, and I hope that he can win his second ever stampede. I, who knows? Maybe even Mr. Glass can shatter some records. I, I, it's going to be a great time watching all the Chucks this week. I'm hoping to maybe make it down, but, you know, it's, it's been a rough week in the last week. So uh, Yeah, yeah, we're glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. Well, that uh, pretty much wraps it up for today. Uh, be sure to check out TazEntertainment.com for the full calendar of all of our shows. And come on down to Gators for our show if you'd like. We do tape it every single Saturday morning, uh, usually around 11 a.m., so come check it out. You can be part of our studio audience. Hey, maybe even be on the show, but be sure to subscribe, guys. We need you to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Still working on our first 100 subscribers. I hope you guys have a great stampede. All right, we'll see you next time.